our meeting will come to order. We we're discussing something up here informally with a problem that you, it's not your fault, you have nothing to do with it, but you're the victim of it. That we, the way we have, it happens that we have four committee hearings at the same time this morning, and they happen to be very significant ones, so we'll have a lot of movement in and out, and I apologize uh, for that. Uh, our Armed Services Committee meets today this morning to receive testimony on the situation on the Korean Peninsula and the U.S. strategy in the Indo-Pacific region. I'd like to welcome our distinguished panel of witnesses this morning. Admiral Dennis Blair, former commander of the U.S. Uh, Pacific Command and director of the National uh, of Intelligence. Uh, Dr. Michael Green, Senior Vice President for Asia and Japan Chair at the uh, Center for International and Strategic Studies. And Ms. Kelly uh, Magsiman, does that sound good? All right. Um, the Vice President of National Security and International Policy at the Center for American Progress. Last week we had the honor of having Secretary Kissinger and, uh, and Schultz here to discuss global challenges, and they both agreed that North Korea is our most imminent. They always use the imminent threat, and that's every witness that we've had so far has talked about that. The others can be uh, different threats, uh, China, uh, or, or problems with, uh, with Russia, but when they talk about Im in imminent threat, that's what they talk about. General John Hyden, the U.S. Strategic Command commander, said last September that he views North Korea's ability to deliver a nuclear weapon on, ICE, on an ICBM as a matter of when, not if. And of course, I, I think November 28th changed all that, and we know that that range is something that's there. They can argue and say, well, could they have actually carried a payload for that kind of a range? That doesn't give me a lot of comfort. Uh, the problem is still there, and it um, it's, it's puts us in a very dangerous position. Unfortunately, the technology is in the hands of an erratic despot with clear disregard for UN Security Council resolutions. Uh, in view of this stark reality, this committee must confront difficult questions uh, about the U.S. policy and strategy for achieving our stated objectives of defending our homeland, protecting our allies, and de-nuclearizing the, the uh, the Korean Peninsula. We look forward to our witnesses' assessments of the current state of play on the peninsula and uh, U.S. offensive and defensive measures, including missile defense programs. In particular, we look forward to our witnesses' recommendations of, for how the United States can pursue an effective long-term deterrence strategy for North Korea. Very difficult questions. We have excellent uh, opinions that we'll be hearing from you. Thank you very much. Senator Reid.